on there. And what's funny about what people eat, whether healthy or not, you recognize people eat the same shit every day, really, for the most part. Healthy or not, and I always talk about, you know, back in the day when I didn't know anything, I could eat pizza every day. And I would never be like, pizza again, right? I would just fucking love that thing. Every time I eat a slice of pizza, god damn, that's good, right? And what we're looking to do is get to a point where what you're eating works towards your health and fitness, and you have that same reaction. You fucking love it, right? And so this guy, Charlie, starts posting pictures of the food that he eats every day. And it looked the same every day. And it was like a child's plate. Like it had like little different sections. And one of the sections is a, typically a dry kale raw salad. Just dry raw kale. And I looked at that and I thought, that looks awful. I wouldn't want to eat that. So I started posting pictures of my food. And what I'm formerly, formerly, I'm Italian, that formerly used to eat a lot of pasta, right? And so a lot of my food is a bit saucier, you know, kind of a mix of, I, I make a lot of mishmash. I call it peasant food. You know, like what's in my fridge? And I make a, you know, a, I use coconut milk and butter and, and the fat from my, my ground beef. And I make these, you know, more mishmashy type meals. And it looked completely different. And the idea was what Charlie ate worked for him. He loves it. He eats it every day. But it wouldn't work for me. My meal looked completely different. Except if you were to take my meal and like separate out the meat and the vegetables and the fat, it would actually be the same thing. It's just that the expression of it is different. And what you'll see, people start posting, here's, my, here's a crock pot meal, a slow cooker, you know, pork shoulder roast. I'm going to eat this all week. You know? And people start putting, putting photos up. Someone's like at the airport, like nothing good here is the best I could find. And what you're reminded is that people are out there doing this thing. You know, they're trying in this, in the world that we live in, we're not prioritized to, to live healthy, fit lifestyles, right? It's about convenience more than anything. And so you have to work at it. And you recognize that there's a lot of things that, a lot of ways that you can approach it and looking for something that works for you and something that you enjoy. Your food should not be, a, you shouldn't walk around just miserable. You know, I always give the skinless chicken breast and steamed broccoli comment. Like, people think of like, for me, that's like, doesn't sound good. For some people, like, that's my favorite. But the idea is that you should enjoy your food. I talk about my, like, one of my common meals is a cast iron uh, skirt steak. I just salt and pepper that sucker, right? It's thin, so it, it cooks really quickly. And then I'll cook, like, I'll chop up some cauliflower really small and fry it till it's almost crispy and charred in some bacon fat, right? And when I eat it, I, I, literally, I say out loud, I'll be like, oh, it's so good. And as it's ending, I feel sad. Like, God, I don't want this to end. I, oh, the last bite is coming, you know? And I've eaten this thing like a thousand times. And every time I eat it, I love it. That's what your food should be like. It's possible.